I got broads in Atlanta, just to throw in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Wait and see, look like a family. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 153 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Diesel. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, good to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Or it. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful punch. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who's become twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus fence in his opponent. Kick. 
Oh, straight right. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. Strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Big punch lands. Ooh. Oh, big left hand there. to block the strike coming back. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Connects with a right. Hands higher, hands higher. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Punch to the body is blocked. Let your hands go. Let your hands go. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big kick lands. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Knee to the body. And misses with the right hand. Boom, straight left hand. Beautiful body kick. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feed, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch of the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lane. Try to establish that jab. Liver kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just missed with the left there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Nice punch there by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Leg kick. Five minutes in the books. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep throwing. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Trying to hammer that lead leg. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, man, head kick lands. Spinning back fist. Just misses there with the left. Nice leg kick. Just over three minutes to go now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> nice. Back and forth we go. to the body by Lee. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that side kick. He connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? And he continues to work the body here. Nice head kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. A pretty significant welt to the left side. Big punch lands through the middle. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Another shot lands upstairs. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee's kick blocked. Nice punch lands. Ooh, nice straight left hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know, they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Real nice body kick. Man. Keeps going back to the entertaining, entertaining scrap so, so far. Up. 
right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their chance. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he continues to land a high number of... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice right hand. There's no tell on that leg. Good kick. sequence of kicks there by Lee. Punch coming, it's blocked. Lee's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Body was blocked, right idea, wrong execution. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head to side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he's getting the strike hands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the oh, center line. Man. So he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Great punch. sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Oh! It's over. He's done. He's done. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. 
crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliotis called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.